Yo, Cloud? I thought that, that this this is like the original Jenova, right? I thought that this was supposed to be at Shinra. Maybe Sephiroth doesn't take it here somehow, and then uh, it ends up back at Shinra for a remake. Uh, did Sephiroth just get stabbed because he wasn't paying attention? Oh. Why does Cloud have this helmet on for this part? Wait, was it not? No, it was Cloud. He's got the Buster Sword right there. It's a good thing that Sephiroth wasn't bleeding there and he just, like, had some weird clouds come out of him. Cloud, did you not make sure he was dead? What is happening? How dare you? Cloud, finish Sephiroth. Off. Yo, Cloud doesn't even have like his Mako energy soldier stuff and he's gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sephiroth? <laughs> Sephiroth! <sighs> Wait, is he holding Cloud's helmet? Why? Or was that, was that a piece of Genova or something instead? Dude, what the... Why do we keep throwing them back and forth between these rooms? Oh no, that's the Genova. That's like Genova's head, I think? Oh, well, Cloud's dead. That's gonna be difficult for uh, FF7 remake, or the original FF7 for that matter. me. Why do you people not bleed? Why are you made of clouds? Is it because his name is Cloud? Come on, Cloud. Mario no. got over it. So can you. Impossible. What? Yeah. All right, that was pretty sick. I cannot deny that, dude. That was insane. This is why Cloud is one of the most protagonists of all time. How did he do that? Well, time to get some of that soldier DNA in Cloud to heal that stab wound through his stomach. What if Cloud had taken that wooden baton and beaten Sephiroth over the head with it? That looked painful. You did it. You didn't see him from this angle in that room. You don't know that he did it. <laughs> what just happened? Hojo! This one here, intriguing, most intriguing. He'll make a fine test subject. <laughs> Dude, chapter eight was wild. What an event that was. Yeah, I'll save the game. I don't ever want to have to witness that awfully designed Sephiroth fight ever again. Honestly, the first, like, the actual fight where- Hey, I'll come visit. The, uh, the primary fight where he did the summoning of the Materia, again, he was just too much of an HP sponge, but overall, it was fine. It just took some work. But, uh, that, like, don't let Sephiroth push you back bit that you had to do after was some of the hottest garbage in this game I have ever seen. Like, man. Man, that was awful. You call yourself soldier. You tarnish the soldier name. And deal! Wait! Oh, wait! When Hojo said there would be a test subject, did he mean Zack? Is Zack in a tank right now? I thought he was talking about Cloud and he was gonna put Cloud into the soldier program and then give him the, uh... The, like, soldier Mako infusion or whatever. Yo, this looks so clean. Man, the animations in this game go hard. Are we standing on water right now? Uh, very Kingdom Hearts? Those wings. 
I want them too. Yo, what a clean transition. That was sick. Oh, my emotions with uh, Angeal, who is dead, have increased. Presumably dead. Oh, did I get out of my pod? He was experimenting. Oh, he's experimenting on Cloud as well. What the heck? <laughs> get wrecked, random researcher. Okay, so he was doing both of them. Dude, who hasn't Hojo experimented on in this franchise, man? Turns out Hojo is like the most important character in all of Final Fantasy VII with the amount of nonsense he gets up to. Cloud really goes and joins Soldier and becomes a first class after this nonsense? After getting like experimented on? What on earth just happened? I unlocked every mission under the sun. Okay, so this is why Cloud and Sephiroth have beef in Remake. Like, I knew they had a history together, but I thought their history together was from their time in Soldier together, but Cloud isn't even in Soldier yet. So I guess Sephiroth and Cloud have their whole animosity against one another because Cloud was here in Nibelheim when Sephiroth went insane, and then, like, Sephiroth stab he stabbed Sephiroth, Sephiroth stabbed him, and then Cloud, like, threw him into an explosion and he fell into the ether. Or whatever. And then Sephiroth... And because Cloud did think Sephiroth was dead in FF7 Remake, it seemed like. And he was having illusion... Like, uh, flashbacks of him or whatever. Or, like, he thought it was hallucinations of him. But actually, Sephiroth survived. And then he comes back in, in Remake and is like, Yo, I'm gonna mess you up. And whatnot. And that's why Cloud is always like, when he saw Sephiroth in Remake, he was like, No, you. It can't be. Or whatever. Failed case number one, soldier first class. Summary, desired effect did not occur. Strong tolerance to Genova cells due to soldier conditioning. Assessed as caused. Uh, failed case number two, Shenra infantrymen. Okay, so the first one they were talking about was Zack. Now this is about Cloud. Weak tolerance to Genova cells led to toxicosis. Lack of response to outside stimuli suggests severe system damage. Recovery highly unlikely. Oh, so they... So Cloud was a very bad match for Genova's cells, and they actually thought that Cloud was going to die as a result. But obviously that's not going to happen because he's freaking Cloud. Oh, dresser key. Thank you. And then it didn't work with uh, Zack because Zack is canonically built different. Because of his, like, Mako infusing. I'm shocked that Cloud is, like, what, what occurs to make Cloud still be like, Yeah, I'll become a member of Soldier. Whatever. I'm down with being a soldier, dude, even after what just occurred. Thank you. Yo, 10,000 gil? We're in chapter 9 now, right? Researcher's diary number one. Here I am, banished to this remote country town. I came all excited about participating in Professor Hojo's top secret experiment, but now they tell me the procedure has already ended. They won't even tell me what the procedure was. What am I doing here, then? Well, as long as I work under Hojo, there's a chance to move up, so I'll have to be patient. Are there any more of those around here? Any more than just Diary 1? Hojo is pretty much the most important. Seems like it. I'm sure he probably dies at some point. I can't wait to see how that happens in Remake. With all the nonsense he's done, I can't imagine him just getting to, like, survive till the end, but... Time will tell whenever they release FF7 Rebirth. Okay, let's go. Come on, Cloud. Let's get out of here. You gotta recover from this toxicosis or whatever and become the protagonist of the rest of the franchise. Wait right here. Let me go and take a look around.
No one was watching us other than that one researcher? Really? I feel like there should have been uh, some more than that. Oh, I just keep this phoenix down until it's used, huh? Oh, I'm still on normal, aren't I? Oh, joy, a coffin key. With how slow the remake is, it might be part five or six before they get that far in the OG story. I, I'm 90% sure they have already said that there will just be three FF7 remakes. Like, they're doing it in three. People, I, like, it actually really annoys me when people are constantly like, Oh, no, it'll actually be like, they're gonna make ten different games, they're gonna milk it for all it's worth, etc, etc. No, dude. They said they're gonna make three games. I'm pretty confident that they're just gonna make three games. And uh, they'll they'll cover what they need to and what they want to 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 make it happen. FF7 remake was a fantastic game. I'm very pleased with it and how it turned out. And whatever whatever Square Enix has envisioned for it right now, I trust them to do well with it. I don't trust them to do well with PSP games though, because this one sucks. But I have uh, I have utmost faith in uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and whatever the third one will be called covering everything that it needs to and being amazing. What the heck was I about to look at? Oh, I was gonna turn it back to hard difficulty because the game is too easy on normal. All right, continuing on. I wouldn't say it's like impossible that Square Enix could end up being like, hey, throughout development, we realized that like, Unless we make you guys wait for like an extra five years, we're gonna have to make four games instead of three because that's just the way it shook out. And honestly, if that does end up happening, then I'll be like, you know what? If you continue to give me Keepers of Honor, what? Oh, it's gotta be the Angeal fan club. If like, if Rebirth is amazing and they continue to release games that are on par or better than FF7 Remake was, then I'll be like, you know what? Fair enough. If that's if that's how it shook out, that's how it shook out. But I, I very much... I very much believe in Square Enix's ability to make it a trilogy and it be phenomenal every step of the way. We continue to receive reports of Angeal sightings. Contained in this update is the most credible information we can deliver to our former club members. A large man believed to be Angeal was spotted in the church near the slums. Seen alongside him was a woman wearing a white one-piece dress. Could it be that our Angeal is seeking sanctuary with a mysterious girl? We wish he would show us that he is alive and well. Did they mistake Zack for Angeal and the woman in the dress That's is Aerith? That That's what it sounds like. Alright. I am not a huge fan of the whole music doesn't change even when in battle thing they have going on. Later. I would like for them to stop this. <laughs> Good. Now it's safe. Let's move, Cloud. You stay here. I'll go take a look inside. I'm actually really curious. Maybe what's gonna end up happening now is Shinra, because Zack was like being experimented on and then bust out. Maybe Zack is gonna be like, I'm I'm against Shinra now, and then Shinra is gonna. Wasn't it the end of FF7 remake? It showed Zack was standing up against like a ton of Shinra troops or something. Wasn't that what it was? Because Zack, I honestly for a second there, I was thinking, oh, Zack will die as a result of fighting Sephiroth, and then Cloud will get the Buster Sword, and he'll become a soldier because Hojo will take him to put him in soldier. But it looks like we still have more game to go. I'm really, I'm really curious as to how Zack is going to end up dying, which he might not die in this game because. Um, I know in the original he died, but he shows up in FF7 Remake, so he has to be alive somehow. But he still has to pass the Buster Sword to Cloud somehow, and Cloud joins Soldier. So I'm very, like, that's the main thing keeping me going with this game right now, is that I can't wait to see how that all shakes out. I'm very curious. Fellow Genesis fan club members, our annual memorial event is coming soon. Of course, with all the witness accounts that keep pouring in, it won't be so much a memorial for Genesis as a gathering to wish for his full-fledged return. As for our always popular goods for sale, this year we have prepared copies of Loveless bound in custom leather. We look forward to your attendance, and don't forget to buy your special edition of Loveless. Open up. Activating 
I don't really care about the why of why this game is uh fairly subpar. Someone in chat saying it's like mid 2000s Square Enix made a bunch of really subpar side games and whatnot. I don't really care about that. All I care about the fact is that it is subpar and that's very disappointing. The town was apparently set on fire intentionally. No one has filled me in on the details, but it seems the other researchers who came to the town with Professor Hojo all perished in the fire. That's why I was sent here. Now only Professor Hojo and I will be working on the project. What a thrill it is to actually witness one of Professor Hojo's experiments firsthand. Okay, so this researcher they're talking about is the guy that Zack sucker punched downstairs. Okay. That's who this researcher is. I thought it was the professor that, um... I thought that those researcher notes were the professor that, uh, Sephiroth was talking about. The door won't open. Let's look through the keyhole. Oh, I actually have to, like, move around. I thought I'd get a cutscene. This... Sure is... A thing... That exists in this game? Is, is this its link to Kingdom Hearts? I, I don't understand the purpose of this. Like, there, there appears to be nothing. Uh, okay. I, I'm glad that that was included in the video game. Yo, we have a buster sword. Can you not just like knock down the door? Like, come on. Yeah, Cloud's not having a good time. Surely I don't go back down into the cave. That doesn't make sense. Yo, Nova, what's crack a in my dude? Good to see you. Oh, I just go right here. <laughs> I was really confused for a second. I was like, where do I go? This is an official notification of the change in status of the following personnel. Sephiroth, soldier first class killed in action. Zach Fair, soldier first class killed in action. Two infantrymen were also killed in action. Yeah, okay, I don't believe you. Is anyone killed in action ever really killed in action? Activating combat mode. Oh, hi. Conflict oh, yeah. resolved. Mine. Dude, I'm back on hard difficulty and everything just, like, instantly dies as well. Oh, hello. This is interesting. Okay. Now, this is the kind of thing I'm normally into in video games. Number four. I missed number three somewhere. We finally release samples into the town. They walk all around town, but do not seem to want to leave it. Furthermore, two of them are still in their pods. Again, no explanation is provided to me. Could the procedure have failed? No, impossible. Professor Hojo's experiments don't fail. What are you talking about? Did you clone Zack and Cloud? Oh, is this number three? First digit, knowledge overflowing. Second digit, unwelcome faces. Third digit, tasty reminders of home. Fourth digit, resting on all four feet. What? I'm no longer interested in this safe code. What What? What on earth could this possibly mean? The laughing safe? What? To open the laughing safe, you need to figure out the numeric password. Search the mansion for a door that won't open and look through the keyhole for clues about each password digit. First password digit, knowledge overflowing would be books. Second is monsters. Third is care packages. Fourth is chairs. Okay, I'm a little more interested again. Alright. What was it? It was monsters, chairs. That's a chair right there. Care packages, books. That first one I found would probably be the book one. Oh, it's one of those uh, dumb apples. Is that the care package? That, those cans right there? Is that like cans of food or something? There's more dumb apples? Well, maybe the care package digit is two because there are two things there. I'm not sure. 